क्वेश्चन इज अ पॉइंट चार्ज 100 पिको कुलम इज लोकेटेड एट 4 वन माइनस थ्री वाइल द एक्स एक्सिस कैरीज अ चार्ज 2 नैनो कुलम पर मीटर इफ द प्लेन जेड इक्वल्स टू थ्री ऑल्सो कैरीज अ चार्ज 5 नैनो कुलम पर मीटर स्क्वायर फाइंड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी ई एट 1 1 1 so this is a question in which there are charge distribution first is point charge of 100 pico coulomb that is located at 4 1 minus 3 second is a charge that is 2 nano coulomb per meter that is a line charge density so there is a line Having line charge density two nano coulomb, that is situated on x axis. And third is a plane. That plane is at z equals to three and carries a charge five nano coulomb per meter square. That is surface charge density rho s. So first, the point charge, hundred pico coulomb at four one minus three. Here. The coordinate four one minus three, x and y coordinate is positive, while the z coordinate is negative minus three. So it is this point is below the x y plane. Similarly, the line charge that that line charge is on to the x axis from minus infinity to plus infinity means it is infinite line charge having line charge density. Two nano coulomb per meter, and third is surface charge having height z equals to three, called z equals to three plane having surface charge density rho s phi nano coulomb per meter square. Our requirement is to, is to determine electric field density E at point one one one. So one by one we can determine electric field. For the three cases and add up at the end, we get the answer. So first is electric field intensity due to point charge Q1. Formula is Q1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught r square unit vector r. Unit vector r can be written in vector upon its magnitude. So the formula becomes Q1 vector r upon 4 pi epsilon naught r cube. So Q1 is given. What about r vector? R vector is the vector between q1 and point p. So we take these two points and determine the vector r. Vector r is final point minus initial point. So it is one 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 minus four one minus three. So here the y coordinate becomes zero. We get minus three unit vector x plus four unit vector z, and its magnitude is Under root three square plus four square, that is under root twenty five equals to five. So after putting these values and the value of epsilon naught, that is ten to the power minus nine upon thirty six pi, we get the answer. That is electric field intensity due to charge Q one. That is minus zero point zero two one six unit vector x plus point zero two double eight unit vector z. Now the second case is. Electric field due to infinite line charge. This line charge is having line charge density two nano coulomb per meter, situated on x-axis. So, electric field due to infinite line charge is rho l upon two pi epsilon naught rho unit vector rho. <laughs> In terms of vector. Unit vector rho can be written as vector upon its magnitude, so we get the formula rho l upon two pi epsilon naught rho vector upon rho square. Here the rho is the distance between point P and the perpendicular drawn from point P to x-axis. So you, we can say that rho is the perpendicular distance. From point P along the x-axis. So here we 
have a point P where we have to determine the electric intensity E. So from this point we draw a line that is perpendicular to the x axis. So the perpendicular is on the x coordinate 1. So the perpendicular point on x axis is 1, 0, 0. So the row vector is final point minus initial point that is 1, 1, 1 minus 1, 0, 0. So the row vector is unit vector y plus unit vector z and uh, its unit vector row is vector upon its magnitude. So the unit vector rho is equals to unit vector y plus unit vector z upon root 2. So after putting these values that is the value of rho l that is 2 nanocoulomb and vector rho and magnitude rho that is root 2. And the value of epsilon naught that is 10 to power minus 9 upon 36 pi, we get the electric field due to line charge that is 18 unit vector y plus 18 unit vector z. Third case, third case is the electric field intensity due to surface charge density rho s. So its formula is rho s upon 2 epsilon naught unit vector n, n is the normal unit vector. So from the figure as we see that we have to determine the electric field intensity at point P and the direction of this infinite surface toward the point P is negative direction of z. So we can say that the normal direction in place of normal unit vector we can write minus unit vector z. So the formula becomes rho s upon 2 epsilon naught minus unit vector z. We simply put the value epsilon naught that is 10 to power minus 9 upon 36 pi and the rho s is 5 into 10 to power minus 9 we get the answer that is minus 90 pi unit vector z. Now add all the three cases that is electric field due to charge q1, electric intensity due to line charge rho l electric intensity due to surface charge rho s. After adding, we get the electric intensity at point P due to charge q1, due to line situated on x axis having rho l density and due to infinite surface situated at z equals to 3. That is minus 0 0.0216 unit vector x plus 18 unit vector y minus 264.7 unit vector z. Next question is an electric dipole with p vector equals to p unit vector z coulomb meter. Coulomb meter is a unit of dipole moment. So this is dipole moment is placed at xz equals to 0, 0. If the potential at 0, 1 nanometer is 9 volt, find the potential at 1 nanometer, 1 nanometer. So this is a problem on electric dipole. This electric dipole is placed at xz, x, z that is 0, 0. Means x coordinate is 0, z coordinate is 0 means this electric dipole is situated on y axis and having a center point at origin. So we consider here a electric dipole which situated at the origin along the y axis. Here the minus q is towards negative y direction and plus q is towards positive y direction. So this is a placement of electric dipole. Since the potential of 9 volt is given at point 0, 1 nanometer, we have to determine the potential at 1 nanometer, comma 1 nanometer. Means at x equals to 1 nanometer and z equals to 1 nanometer, we have to determine the potential. Since 
at x equals to 0 and z equals to 1 nanometer the potential is given that is 9 volt. So, by using the formula of potential due to electric dipole that is V equals to Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught within bracket D cos theta upon R square. So, the problem of electric dipole is basically in spherical coordinate system having coordinates R, theta and phi. So, here the potential due to electric dipole depend upon two coordinates that is R and theta. Also, the Q into D that is magnitude of charge into distance between them that is called dipole that is denoted by small p. So, potential V equals to small p cos theta upon 4 pi epsilon naught r square. This is a formula from where we have to use this to determine the electric potential at 1 nanometer comma 1 nanometer. Now, First, the given part is the potential at 0, 1 nanometer. Means at x equals to 0 and z equals to 1 nanometer, here is the point and at this point the potential is 9 volt. So, the distance between electric dipole and the given point is R. that R is 1 nanometer because this point is situated on Z axis and the distance from center point of the dipole to that given point is 1 nanometer. So, R equals to 1 nanometer and this R makes angle theta which is 0 degree because in spherical coordinate system there the coordinates are r, theta and phi. Theta is an angle made by r with respect to z axis. r is the radius of the sphere. So, r makes angle 0 degree with respect to z axis where the potential is given that is 9 volt. So, this from the given we get r equals to 1 nanometer and theta equals to 0 degree. So, after putting these values and the given potential V equals to 9 volt in this formula that is V equals to 9, theta equals to 0 degree and R equals to 1 nanometer. After putting these values we get a unknown term that is P upon 4 pi epsilon naught that is 9 into 10 to the power minus 18. So, from a given values we get P upon 4 pi epsilon naught 9 into 10 to power minus 18. Now, again we use the above formula to determine the potential at 1 nanometer comma 1 nanometer. So, from in place of P upon 4 pi epsilon naught we can write 9 into 10 to power minus 18. So, the formula becomes V equals to 9 into 10 to power minus 18 cos theta upon R square. Now, again the since the electric dipole is situated along y axis having center at origin and we have to determine the potential at 1 nanometer 1 nanometer means here the y coordinate is 0 means this point is on xz x z plane having coordinate x equals to 1 nanometer and z equals to 1 nanometer and the distance from the electric dipole is r to this point P. So, by using some measurement, the R distance that is from the center of di electric dipole to point P is under root 1 square plus 1 square nanometer that is root 2 nanometer and here the angle theta, the angle theta that is the angle made by R with respect to Z axis is 45 degree because since the angle between x and z x is 90 degree and it is just a half because the slope is 1. So, the angle theta is 45 degree. So, after putting these values that is theta equals to 45 degree r equals to root 2 nanometer 
we get the answer that is 3.182 volts. So, this is a problem based on electric dipole to determine a potential at any point P.